couple people through Facebook and YouTube have asked me what in-cylinder pressure testing is. I'm going to go through a rundown on the tools I use and how I get the waveforms that I get. And just a basic rundown on how to use it. Uh, basically, I use a Pico pressures. Uh, I use a Pico WPS 500X. You can get it through ASE Wave. It's but ASE Wave has a payment plan. I believe it's under thirty dollars a month, and you can have one. I also use a Pico oscilloscope. You can use any oscilloscope that you want, but I like the Pico scope because the Pico scope has the built-in rollers and it, and it does a lot of the work for you. So I'll show you how to install it and uh, how to use the WPS 500. The nice thing about the WPS 500X is when you power it on, it goes through a self-zeroing process. When it's done, it's automatically zeroed. It has three ranges, which is nice. Range one is negative 15 PSI to 500 PSI. Range two is negative 15 PSI to 50 PSI. And range three is negative five PSI to positive five PSI. Range one is what I use for in-cylinder pressure testing. Range two is what I use for uh, intake vacuum testing. And range three is what I use when I'm doing exhaust pressure testing. Uh, you can also use it in fuel, oil, transmission, if you want to check uh, injector pulse, things of that nature. Just like a normal compression gauge, your uh, pressure transducer gets installed right into the spark plug hole. You just install the WPS right into the hose that it comes with. The one nice thing about using PicoScope with the transducer is it has a built-in probe. I'm just using the WPS 500X in range 1 to do in-cylinder testing. And I like to have a lot of time across the screen and then I just zoom in. Once I get my capture, once I get my capture, I zoom in and I'm able to bring up my rollers. I bring these rollers up to find the piston location. For each for each uh, stroke of the engine. A couple people would ask me to come explain this. So your piston is at top dead center of your compression stroke here and bottom dead center of your expansion stroke. Back here, you're at the top of your exhaust stroke and at the bottom of your intake stroke. You rise back up to the top of your compression stroke here. You're able to see a couple different things. You can see valve timing if you, if you like. You can see, you can use this ruler here and measure exhaust back pressure. You, using these rollers, you can check valve timing. You can check exhaust back pressure. You can check if, uh, you can check uh, valve sealing issues. You can check many things with this waveform. Once you learn how to read them, there are people way better than I am. If I think I have a valve sealing issue, especially on an intake, a lot of times I'll put a pulse sensor that I built 
into the brake booster hose. Able to see pulses and you can see pressure rises in the intake to see if, if any of the valves aren't sealing. To see if any of the intake valves aren't sealing. But uh, I'm gonna show you how I use the WPS in the uh, intake as well. The WPS also comes with a nice vacuum hose. I just removed the brake booster hose, install the vacuum hose into it. I change it to the range two and I zoom in. For my sink, so I know which intake pull is for which cylinder, I'm going to install an amp clamp on either the power or ground side of the ignition coil. Once I get my waveform, I again use my rollers to divide the strokes of the engine, knowing knowing that this is your, the peak of your compression stroke, the bottom of your expansion stroke, the top of your exhaust, and I know that this is my intake pull for the cylinder that I have synced up to. You can see that all of the intake pulls are, are even. No normal pressure spikes or excessive intake pulls. This is on a, nor this is on a known good vehicle. I hope this helps you better understand what I was doing in the RX300 Misfire video. I'm on vacation, so I'm using my wife's car for demo purposes, so it's the best I can do right now, but I do think I have a friend who has a Colorado, may have a bad uh, intake valve seat, probably, coming over that I'm gonna look at and run some tests with, and run some tests with, and I'll get a video for you guys. So uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Much appreciated, and uh, I'll see you next time.